You see, these are the frames made here. They're very nice. They sell all over the world. Mm -hmm. They make less than 10% of their market here in Portugal. Yeah. They sell it in Switzerland as well, where the thermal regulations are very strict. And here, you see that we're playing with, uh, with the fire, doors. Uh, making curved doors. Yeah, risky. This is, this is new. Color no. no, they will have a color. Yes. Yeah, we're testing yeah. three next week. Yeah. Perhaps we'll see them. We are, we are a bit nervous about. Well, I am, at least Why? I am a bit nervous about. Uh, well, because the color, it, it will be kind of uh, yellowish. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't know, we didn't, we didn't talk about this with Mariana, but in this, this uh, in the living room, when we started the project, this was also very important to us. That I mean, the elevation of mm -hmm. the room—it's like these four doors, uh, yes. which, which are uh, apart. Oh, it, make uh, it makes this uh, somehow they make the room. Mm -hmm. We think, yeah. and so we, we always thought of these doors as uh, uh, contrasting with with the walls. Uh, but we're, we're never sure about the color because in the beginning we wanted uh, a marble floor uh, with a greenish tone, yeah. which is the Verde de Serpa, that mm -hmm. maybe Luis told you about this. No, no. no. we didn't see in, the, in our studio by the entrance there's a green stone oh, sample among many. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a, a very beautiful green uh, marble, yes. it has some, some gray, some white, some green, some blue. Uh, but when we, we were looking at, uh, with, at the slabs uh, and then we tried to design the floors with the slabs with this very... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was too dramatic, it was very so difficult to match. It's so yeah. difficult. Yeah. It also changes a lot. It has yeah. some lighter parts and then mm -hmm. some very grayish parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's very decorative. Yes, very decorative yes. and and the the drawings that the It's the a Portuguese the version of the two of the Cipollino. I see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not as beautiful, but it's kind of that. But it, it m would make like a pattern, you know, if you if because if you cut the slabs you have this uh, like it was this too strong. Uh, yeah. yeah. And so we decided to to go, go with this pink floor. And <laughs> also, you know, because we have the idea that the concrete would be gray, therefore a cold color, but in fact uh -huh. it's brownish. Yes, it's, more it's a warm warmer. color. Uh -huh. The moment you put that uh, green uh, stone there, you understand that it's not a cold color. Yes. And then from there we went to choose this uh, stone. And which then from uh, let me just say is Cuyosh. This this comes from uh, Quali, which is n near Sintra, mm -hmm. and it's it's not the most expensive type of of, of Lioz, because the most expensive is one which is very m much clean, mm -hmm. white, white or green. green. Uh, the lighter it is, the rarer it is, and therefore mm -hmm. the more, more expensive, expensive it is. And so this it's. It's not so expensive because it has kind of lots of quartz and, and, and even fossils and yeah. but it's very beautiful. But yeah, we all we, we like it's it very much. It's also decorative, which is yes. what we were looking for, and it's and from both we chose the color of the frames. Yes. From the color of the frames, which was not really what we expected from mm -hmm. the small samples, we chose the color of the walls. And now from this ensemble, well, then we chose the mahogany, because which at the beginning we didn't want to, because mm -hmm. we thought it would be too dark. Yeah, too dark. But by the point this was all chosen, we thought it would be Mo a nice mahogany fit. Mahogany would be nice, yeah. And then last week we picked three samples to for the, for, for for the, the doors, doors <laughs> which at the beginning it, will, it would have been really difficult to decide upon those colors. Yeah. But so it's, it's something... It's interesting that you as an architect are deciding the color of the walls and not the client. Well, they might as well just paint it differently once they get the apartment, but no. Yeah, but they, they trust us. They mostly trust yeah, us, and trust us. and then we'll see. And then but, like but but then we can have some some there surprises, might be surprises. Yeah. right? But it's yeah. but it's it's a bit yellowish, yellowish yes. because the first so we decided on on this color for the frames 
mostly from the outside, looking mm -hmm. looking at the building, mm -hmm. and you thought, okay, this goes because well. Because you thought it would match the concrete. This yeah, this you don't color. see it much with the concrete, so we, we like this color. But then inside, we were here, and it was contrasting with white, li white like yes. this, and yes. we were like so it's yellow. Too yellow, yeah. <laughs> too yellow. And but now, then with with the color of the walls, it's a, a it a looks almost similar. Yeah. It's so it's no longer yellow and. And so yeah. we're, we're we experimenting we also. We call it navigação à vista. <laughs> you understand? Yes. <laughs> Manual navigation. <laughs> Manual navigation, yes. Or visual navigation. Or visual, yes, visual. 